As a software engineer, I've built many of my own apps and websites in the past. And one thing I can tell you for sure is, if you follow the process and really put your mind and heart into it, some products can be modeled into reality incredibly quickly. And the startup from today is a good example because it took me a total of two hours to build it. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through my process and show you how I came up with the idea, what tools did I use and how it looks like in the end. So let's jump right into it. So I really believe that a good product comes from the place where there is a problem on the market. And really what you should be asking yourself is not what technology should I use or what can I build to sell, but what problem can I solve? So let's take a look into the market. There are many websites that are already existing and many of them have some typos or missing sections and just overall things to improve. So this is our problem, poor UX. And the deeper problem with the unclear text or poor UX is worse conversions and worse conversions means less sales and less sales mean less money. So you get what I mean. And the solution in this case would be the UX audits, but they could be quite expensive and mostly tailored for big websites. But what if you're a small business owner that just wants to improve his website with better descriptions, better CTAs, and just overall get the understanding and the ideas for improvement. And this is where our solution comes, is the AI UX audits. So basically imagine a service where you can enter any website URL and it will scan your website and it will give the detailed list of what can be improved or changed on this website. So let's talk about how I build it. To build this tool, I've used OpenAI Language Model API and some web scraping techniques with the help of Next.js and Cheerio library. So how it works is essentially when the user enters his URL and clicks the Analyze button, we then pull the HTML of the website and get all of the text from the body tag of that page. Later, we pass the text to the OpenAI model with our custom prompt where we describe the things to look for and which advice to give to our user. As the result, we get the report that looks like this. and it's all done with the help of AI and some engineering skills. So if you're new to programming, you can basically deal with some basic JavaScript skills and use the leverage of third-party AI models, which will be able to handle a lot for you. And the speed is the key in this case, because a lot of these tools are really allowing you to build your ideas and to build them fast. And if you're a more advanced developer, you can think about how can you use this technology to sell potentially lower ticket products, but at a higher volume. So the good use case could be, of course, that this service can be a product on its own, but we can still find many interesting and different ways to make money with it. A good example could be that if you're an agency owner and you're trying to find clients, and yes, doing the cold outreach could work, but how much better could it be if before offering, let's say, your tech services or design services, you could first send them the list of what can be improved on their existing website? and do it for free. How much more personal and more engaged your call outreach would then be? And this is just one of the examples. So yeah, we live in the time where it's possible to build digital tools that can really improve our lives, solve real world issues, and even create successful businesses. And all of that from the comfort of our own homes. And I hope this video will inspire you to build more of your own products and to be able to leverage the technology for your own benefit. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because here I talk about new AI technologies, startups, my path, and overall online entrepreneurship. So hit that like button and see you in the next one.